Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about Open Core Legacy Patcher version 1.0. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Recently OCLP developers released OCLP version 1.0.0, and with the release of Open Core Legacy Patcher 1.0.0, it brings macOS Sonoma support. And with it, 83 unsupported Mac models will be able to run Apple's latest OS. Here is the list of Mac models capable of running macOS Sonoma with OCLP 1.0.0. With this OCLP version 1.0.0, you can run macOS Sonoma on any Mac, starting from 2008 models. Moving forward and talking about the limitations of this OCLP version. The main limitation with Sonoma is the lack of hardware support for the T1 security chip. With macOS Sonoma, Apple has dropped support for the T1 chip used by the Touch Bar based 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pros. Specifically communication to the T1 for cryptographic functions including key storage and Apple Pay support. The main features unsupported in Sonoma with the T1 chip are Touch ID, Apple Pay, built-in password manager and Safari and system settings, however you can use Keychain as an alternative. With the future release of OCLP, these issues will be fixed. Now moving forward and talking about the full change log of this OCLP version. Resolve BCM2046 and BCM2070 support on macOS 13.3 and newer. Workaround 13.3 plus kernel panic on AMD GC and GPUs playing DRM content. Added a new macOS installer download menu, as well as a refreshed download UI. Added support for Universal 2 distribution, x86-64, and ARM64. Drops Rosetta requirement on Apple Silicon Macs. Also, note that building from source will require Python 3.11 or newer and up-to-date Python modules. Update font handling code, fixing font issues on Yosemite and El Capitan. Resolved incorrect release usage of open core binaries when debug is enabled. Added renderbox.framework patch for 3802 based Intel GPUs on macOS 13.3 and newer. Works around weather and widget freezing. Applicable for Intel Ivy Bridge and Hoswell I GPUs. Added macOS Sonoma support to patch your support validation in CI. Implemented basic support for macOS Sonoma. Supports the same range of hardware as Ventura, in addition to iMac 18x MacBook 10 1, MacBook Pro 14x. Now moving forward and talking about the resolved issues with this OCLP. Graphics acceleration support for 3802 and non-metal GPUs. UI corruption on 31001 GPUs. Wireless networking for BCM9 4360, 4360, 4350, 4331 and 43224. USB Ethernet support for adapters based on ECM protocol, example, Realtek. DGPU support for MacBook Pro 14.3. S1X S3X NVMe drive support. PCIe based FaceTime camera support. Bluetooth support by switching to dynamic EMM spoofing. So, that was all about the newly released OCLP version 1.0.0. If you want to upgrade your unsupported Mac to macOS Sonoma, or want to do a clean install, please follow the guide from the i button. Moreover, you can get more info about this OCLP release from the developer's official website. The link will be provided under the video description. For updating OCLP, download the latest version of it and then open it. After opening the OpenCore patcher, click on the build and install OpenCore option. After the OpenCore is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the install to disk option and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed and after that click on a CFI partition. Enter password when prompted. After OpenCore is installed, click on the Reboot option and then restart your Mac to apply the changes. While restarting, press and hold Command or Alt key and boot to your Mac Startup Manager. From the Startup Manager, select EFI Boot and press Enter and then continue to boot.
After booting back, again open open core patcher. After it opens, click on post install root patch and, from the menu, click on the start root patching option and, proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the reboot option and restart your Mac, and you're done. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.